Alright, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So at this point, I'm sure most of you have already seen in the in-game news that the STR Transforming Cooler is officially making his way over to the global side of the game. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly why I think you actually should be summoning for this unit once he comes out. And of course, this is my own personal opinion. It's my recommendation. You guys are free to do whatever you want with your stones. And if you're one of those people that, you know, wants to save everything between now and the five year anniversary for the dual LRs, I totally get it. I can respect that, but that is definitely not what I'm going to do. And it's not necessarily what I would recommend either. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is not actually the details for the card, but rather the animations, because believe me when I say that this guy has some of the best animations in the entire game. Uh, when it comes to TURs, I would say he has the best animations of any TUR in the game. And when it comes to LRs, he still is like in the top 5%. I think he has better animations than 95% of the LRs in the game, with the exception being maybe the LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue from the 5 year anniversary, but even by those standards, I think it's pretty close, man. Like, I don't think it's that big of a difference between the Cooler and the Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegeta. Once again, just my opinion. Alright, so we're gonna take a look at the animations now. The first thing you're gonna see is actually the animation for a new Fizz Armored Cooler Squadron, and then after that, we'll get into the STR Cooler animations, and then we'll talk about it after it's done. Alright, so without further ado, here we go. Dude, it is so freaking good, man. Like, I feel like I'm watching the movie all over again. And the first time I saw the Cooler movie was at least like, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago, something like that. And it just brings back all those memories as a kid because they literally just use the scenes from the movie, which I don't think is a bad thing at all because you can't really get better than the original animation, right? It's the same scenes, it's the same angles, all that stuff, especially this transformation, I think just looks super, super dope. Uh, Bandai killed it, they used their best animation team for this unit and it really, really shows. So yeah, like I said, guys, one of the best uh, animations or you know, some of the best animations for any unit in the game, in my opinion, it really doesn't get much better. And this all right so we're gonna let this finish we're almost there and that's it that's it okay so those are the animations let me know in the comments down below if this is your first time watching them what you think about them and even if that wasn't your first time experiencing them it's always nice to see them again right so that is the first reason why you should summon or str cooler amazing amazing animation some of the best we've ever seen from Dokkan. Now moving on to the actual details for the card itself because of course that's also important. He is a dual category leader, Conquest of Terror which is a new category, or Transformation Boost category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. His super attack is Destructive Ray causes immense damage to enemy and lowers attack and defense. And 
His passive is attack and defense plus 100%, transformation boost category allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 30% when facing only one enemy, and conquest of terror category allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So I know a lot of people are saving their stones for the 5 year anniversary with the Gogeta and the Vegito, that makes a lot of sense, but one thing to keep in mind is that this dude is actually an amazing support for those two units because he gives transformation boost, he plus 2 attack and defense plus 30%, so you can run him on the same team as those two units if you're running a transformation boost team. And like I said, you'll definitely want to have this guy to pair up with your blue Gogeta and blue Vegito if you're lucky enough to pull them during the 5 year anniversary because he is a very very good support for them, and he also happens to be the best transformation boost leader. So some more reasons to summon for him now, especially because he's most likely not going to be coming back on another banner before the 5 year anniversary in July, alright? So there's his passive, there's the leader skill, uh, active skill. So he does have a transformation into final form cooler, and to transform, you either have to be facing a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy starting from the third turn from the start of battle, or facing only one enemy starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle once only. So obviously it's very easy to get him to transform if you're facing a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans enemy, of which there are a lot of in this game, like there are a lot of fights where you're facing off against a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan, but let's say you don't have either of those going, then it's definitely going to be a lot harder to transform, but still it's by far not the worst condition we've ever seen, right? So that's the transformation, and his links are Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Universe's Most Malevolent, Fierce Battle, and his categories are Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Conquest of Terror, Target Goku, and Last Resort, alright? So those are all the details you need to know about the cooler before he transforms. Oh, by the way, he does have a farmable super attack. There's the, uh, actually the Int SR cooler, I believe, is a summonable unit. But this tech cooler actually drops from the revamped cooler story event, so he's actually not hard to get at all. And once he transforms into final form cooler, his super attack becomes death gliding, raises attack and causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. Passive, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180 percent. Huge boost right there. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and performs a critical hit, guaranteed critical, when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. Like I said, there are a lot of enemies, a lot of fights in this game um, where you're facing a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan, so it's not going to be too hard to get that last part of his passive to go off. And links are the same, I believe, as before. And of course, categories are the same as well. And that is all you need to know about the cooler. He is a absolutely phenomenal unit. What I love about him is that you can choose uh, whether or not you want him to be more offensive and actually defensive too, or whether you want him to be more of a support type unit, right? So if you keep him in his untransformed state as just cooler, then he'll give attack plus, or keep plus two attack and defense plus 30% when you're facing one enemy to transformation boost, and then the huge key plus two and attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies to conquest of terror. And then if you want him to just go all out offense and defense, then go for the transformation. And in this form, he just becomes an absolute monster. All right, so there you go. There's really nothing negative I can say about this unit. He is just amazing all around, and I can't wait to, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, pull him and run him on a bunch of different teams because he's going to be awesome on all of them. Okay, so moving on next to the actual new category that this guy brings to global, and it is the Conquest of Terror category. And even though it's not as, you know, broken as the Kamehameha category or the Super Saiyan category or some of the newer categories in the game, it is still a very, very good category. I'm just going to quickly scroll through, let you guys see the units. And uh, it's a really fun category to run as well, especially for people like me that really enjoys uh, running extreme teams. Because I feel like there's just not enough love, for the most part, given to extreme teams, extreme units in this game. And this is a, definitely a very, very good 
extreme category, especially when paired up with the transformation boost category. Um, a lot of different options for his team, obviously, because of the dual category lead. So that's also another reason to get this guy, right? To run a new category, to run um, one of the probably better teams in the entire game, especially once the five-year LRs come out and you can add both the Blue Godita and Blue Vegito to the transformation boost team. Um, yeah, it's gonna get crazy once that happens. So that's the Conquest of Terror category right there. And finally, we're gonna take a look at his banner. Now this one's a bit of a question mark. When it first came out on JP, it was pretty freaking amazing because it was the first banner to bring back the Namek transforming Goku, which as you guys know is also one of the best TURs in the game um, and has some of the best animations in the game as well, right? But the thing is, they already brought back this guy on the Piccolo banner, so there's a chance that he actually might get swapped out. I really hope it doesn't happen, but I think it's more than likely going to. So as far as the banner goes, I mean, if you take out the Goku and replace it with like, let's say AGL Zamasu, for example, it would still be a really solid banner, right? Especially because um, this guy and this guy are really good fits for uh, his category. I mean, I know a lot of people probably already have a Metal Cooler or two and uh, have this guy rainbowed, but for newer players, they're definitely both still very good pickups. And of course, the Angel Golden Frieza is still solid. The Int Kid Goku is still very, very good. Uh, the Fizz Thouser, or the Armored Cooler Squadron, um, is actually a very solid unit too. So overall, it's gonna be a good banner. We don't know exactly what's gonna look like. I don't know how many of these units are gonna get swapped out and what the final banner on Global is gonna look like. So it's kind of hard for me to say that's gonna be, you know, an amazing banner, a must summon banner, but I'm sure they're gonna make it good enough for a lot of people to want to summon. So for now, I'm not gonna to comment too much on the banner. I'll just show you what the banner on JP look like. And as I said, do expect it to change quite a bit, or at least slightly, uh, once it comes out on Global, all right? So uh, that's all I really got to say in this video, guys. I mean, I think I gave quite a few reasons, like enough reason for most people to at least spend a few stones on this banner. You know, at least do like two, three multis, see how it goes. And then if you want to keep saving for the five year anniversary, I totally get it. But he has great categories for his leader skill. He himself is amazing, both as a support unit and also as just like a monster in his own right. And also he has some of the best animations in the game. So uh, if those reasons are not enough for you to want to summon, then just skip the guy. Like I get it. I get it. The, the, the Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito are just too tempting to not save for, but I, I can't skip this guy. I really can't. I already told you, man, I don't expect him to come back before the five-year anniversary. So if you want to run him immediately with the five-year LRs when they come out, then you got to summon for him now, man. So yeah, I've pretty much made my case. That's all I can say in this video. Let me know in the comments down below if watching this video has convinced you to summon for the STR transforming cooler or are you going to still continue saving for the five year LRs? As I said, I would totally understand, but I personally will be going balls deep for this unit, spending at least like 700 to 1000 stones, hopefully pulling him before then, but we'll see how things go. And uh, that's all I can say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>